used to have to send people over to the hospital and it would be a long delay to get people in to see if they had a blood clot or to see if there was some sort of organ damage or something and th they can see it now. It's right here in the office. That's amazing. How are you today? Suffering from an old injury in my head. Oh. Is there a good story? I'm a nurse, as you can see, and I was injured in the line of duty. Oh, I'm so sorry. Working. Where does it hurt the most, Anna? I had a meniscal tear and I had it repaired, but I'm still having some, some pain and difficulty with it. So let's take a look at your leg, if that's okay. Have you had an ultrasound of your knee before? Uh, no. It's a really neat way to look. X-rays look at the hard stuff mostly. The ultrasound looks at the soft stuff. So we can see if there's fluid in there. We can see if there's any tears. It doesn't hurt, so that's pretty mm -hmm. nifty. And there's no X-ray exposure, so that's also pretty cool. Mm -hmm. The cap looks good. Your tendon still attaches. You can see how it narrows mm -hmm. down and tapers there. Well, we'll sneak down here to the side. Do you remember which meniscus they did for you? They called it a trifecta. Oh my tears. goodness, that's never good. What is it about this particular device, the V-Scan Air, that really takes your ability to practice to the next level? One of the most important things, particularly in musculoskeletal injuries, which is a lot of what we see here in the urgent care, you get a very nice resolution on this. This is very close to the resolution you can see in a forty or fifty thousand dollar machine. Wow. The the neat thing about the V scan, uh, both the Air and even its predecessors, is that it is two separate transducers. So it's not trying to quite be as all purpose as some devices. It gives you a little bit more flexibility and reliability. You can still go back and forth and use either transducer, but you know, you'll develop your preferences as you come to know the device a little bit better. The other part of this that's really wonderful is that you can use this dynamically. I can try moving her knee. I can stress the ligament here to see if it opens up as I do this. So the whole thing is a very dynamic process rather than just a static x-ray. It's pretty cool that you can literally sort of just put the screen anywhere you want based on the convenience for the exam. That's true. I've even had times when I've had the patient hold it so that I can use both hands, say, to do a maneuver. The other thing that's really wonderful about it is you can show the patient what you're looking for. Again, we were showing Donna her kneecap, the potential spot for fluid with her tendons, and especially if there's pathology, you can show the patient that. Donna, do you find yourself wanting to look at the screen? Yes, <laughs> I do. It's, it's quite interesting to see what's going on in it. There's a little weakness right. that everyone has in the, in the bones there, and that's where I see this fluid for you, because right. really we're looking straight through the knee. I'm sitting here watching, and he's discussing and telling me what, what he sees. I am, I, I think it's amazing that I'm not experiencing any pain. Um, I'm not experiencing any radiation. It's not taking a lot of time. It's convenient, it's easy, and I'll know something today.